Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and today we're talking about something that might be a little overkill for some, but absolutely perfect for others. The Home Lab series of NAS servers from 45 Drives. And I just love the way this thing opens, so let's get started. Now, quick disclosure before we get too deep, 45 Drives did send me the HL15, HL8, and HL4 models to review and keep. But as always, all opinions are my own. And if you know this channel, you know that I'm going to be honest whether they like it or not. I also feel it's important to note that my company has actually spent a lot with 45 Drives over the years on their commercial storage systems. We've deployed petabytes of their storage in a variety of business environments. So when they launched the Home Lab series targeted more power users and enthusiasts, I was very interested to see how they were going to scale down the price of their enterprise offering without losing any quality. And make no mistake, these are premium Canadian built NAS servers. If you're the type of home labber who appreciates a robust build and quality, wants a server that'll last for years, the HL series is definitely worth the look. These things are really well built. Seriously, we're talking 16 gauge steel, powder coated and assembled with screws, not rivets, and designed to be serviced and maintained. That's a big deal for a home labber who wants to keep changing things. You don't have to unscrew or pry anything open, everything is built to last and be very accessible. The HL servers have a toolless design which makes opening the chassis and installing drives really easy and straightforward. No fiddly rails or tiny screws that you can drop. Just clean, simple hardware that's clearly designed by people who actually use this stuff. Inside these cases, 45 drives use standard motherboards and standard power supplies, which means you're not locked into any type of proprietary hardware. This allows you to drop in the board and power supply of your choice, which gives you a ton of flexibility. Now let's talk about noise. I did make a change to my HL15. I swapped out the fans for Noctua units, and that made a huge difference in terms of the noise levels. Sorry, I forgot to record the before. The good news is though that the HL8 and HL4 already come with Noctua fans by default, so they're quieter right out of the box. No need to do the swap like I did. And that's a really thoughtful touch, especially for a home lab system where a server might be only a few feet away from your desk. Also worth noting, you can get a custom faceplate for these. It's a nice little flare option if you want something that fits your lab's look. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a premium product with a premium price. But before we disclose pricing, I always state that the date matters because as of April of 2025, these are the prices that are gonna be shown. This video is static. Prices are, well, much more dynamic. Now you are buying factory direct because 45 Drives is selling this, not through a reseller, not through a third party, but right from their 45 Drives home lab store. So let's look at the pricing on these. And for each of the models, they're going to give you a chassis only price, but you're allowed to customize it. Now, they're all going to come with a backplane. So you have that backplane connector for the board. It'll be up to you to supply the card or different adapters for it. They have the right connectors in there. You'll just have to decide which HBA cards you want if you don't buy something from them. I probably would recommend go ahead and get it with the chassis and wired in backplane data cables, et cetera, for a little bit more. It saves you the trouble because this will wire it into their little bus adapter in a much cleaner way. They do use a bus adapter. It's not proprietary, as I mentioned earlier, but it is cleaner when you use the Corsair, or you could just simply see the exact model Corsair, communicate with them that you're going to use that yourself. If you wanted it, just get it with the backplane. Fully tested, ready to go for 2309 may sound expensive to some, but for anyone who's bought any of their enterprise gear, this is really a good price for the level of quality, as I mentioned, that these chassis have. Now they have a couple different motherboard options here, and this will probably be subject to change, of course, when you're watching this in the future, because as new motherboard comes out, well, they are going to have new options. They, of course, have some of the power cord changes, depending on the country you're this to whether or not you want the knock to a fan upgrade is an option here but as i mentioned if you go with the hl8 and hl4 those are shipping with the knock to a fans as of right now now as i mentioned earlier this is not a sponsored video matter of fact i did also mention and this is something we plan to continue is buying enterprise solutions from 45 drives we've actually spent quite a bit of money with them and plan to continue providing them as a solution for our enterprise clients i did this video because people ask me how do i get one of these you know what's a good recommendation for a high High quality NAS. I know these are people who are going to be further along in their IT career, rather successful because they can easily afford this. And I know that is a unique demographic, but there is quite the demand in that 
market. This is something that when 45 Drives first started talking about the home lab stuff and talked to people like me, Wendell from Level 1 Tax, many of the other YouTubers you've seen like Jeff Gearling and Jeff from Craft Computing and all of us that were at these creator summits, they had a lot of back and forth with us about how they should approach the market and we all gave them a lot of feedback, which leads me to the other reason I'm doing this video. 45 Drives has been an awesome participant in the home lab community. It's interesting because they have this enterprise offering, but they take the time to engage, create YouTube videos when I highly recommend subscribing to their channel. It's an absolute wealth of knowledge on topics of ZFS and especially Ceph. 45 Drives, and this is something I'll leave a video link down below that Wendell talked about, is they've just been a great participant in the open source and home lab communities, both of them. And I really want to highlight that because I think it's important to really encourage and look at the success that companies have of not just taking from open source, but also really giving back and really engaging with the community. So this is one of those things that, well, I wanted to just share because I'm a big open source advocate and I want to highlight instead of just complaining about companies that take and take and take and never give back and you know enjoy the profits they have by integrating the open source solutions in their products and never really push anything back into the open market. I don't want to rant about that right now, but uh, those companies know who they are. This is a company that takes the time to contribute back and I think that's an important thing to highlight in the market. But ultimately, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Leave those thoughts and comments down below. Check out the 45 Drives forums. That's a great place to engage with them if you want to talk with them or subscribe to their channel because as I said it's a wealth of knowledge and like to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content and as always you can find me at lortsystems.com on whatever socials I'm connected with when you go there. All right and thanks.